Welcome to my vegan kitchen. So I was about to clean my pantry, reorganize it, wipe it out, just kind of get everything together. And I thought this would be a really good opportunity for you guys to see what I have in my pantry. I can go through what you should have, what I have, what do I use it for, things like that. So if you're interested, you know, while I'm cleaning my pantry, just join me. I'm gonna be doing that right now. So just stick with me. All right, so here is my pantry, guys. Um, I live in a condo, so this is my small pantry. Sometimes I do wish I lived in a big old house with a walk-in pantry, but that's all right. Um, there's advantages to living in a condo, the convenience and the beautiful view. So this is what I have. Um, I'm gonna go through each shelf. So I'm gonna take everything out and kind of run through it, get it on a countertop so you can, guys can see um, what I have and kind of explain some of what I have and what I use it for. All right, guys, so here I go. We're gonna start with this shelf. All right, so on the top shelf that I just removed all these tea items, that's where I keep my teas. And I love teas. If you have followed me on Instagram, you would see I recommend that you drink herbal teas at least two cups a day. So these are the teas that I have and some coffee. I have sorrel, um, hibiscus flower. If you are Caribbean, African, Middle Eastern, you know what this is. We use it to make uh, sorrel at, at, during the holidays, but usually I'll just brew it and I'll just have it. So I have sorrel, so, star anise. Guys, if you ever have like an upset stomach or anything like that, or you have gas, star anise is the perfect thing to have. Just boil it in water and just drink it. That's it. I have some date seed coffee. So, you know when you have majole dates and you have the seed and you don't know what to do with it? Save all your seeds, roast them, grind them, save them. It's the best coffee. It's caffeine free, so if you're trying to kick your coffee habit, that is perfect. These I usually use more often than anything else. I have green tea. I have some ginger tea here. I have smooth move just in case you know you can't go to the bathroom that well so I have a variety of teas in here I have my happy fasting tea so for those of you who know will know I do a weekly fast that starts at 6 o'clock every single Sunday and it ends on Tuesday at noon so it's a 42 hour fast happy fasting tea because I love tea so much and I was drinking different teas on my fasting days, I decided to develop my own tea. So happy fasting tea is a tea that I use during my fasting times. It helps to give me energy, it helps to detox, and you can purchase that on my website at myvegankitchens.com. So that's my happy fasting tea. So I keep all my teas. Oh, I also have burdock root. Burdock root, this is dry burdock root. I get it at my farmer's market. This is great for digestive health. It's really, really, all you have to do is boil it. It's really important that you have teas like this to help to keep your digestive system free and clean and burdock root will do that. It's also a good um, blood and liver cleanser. And chai tea, because sometimes I just want some warm chai and I keep this in these like airtight containers. And that's it guys, that's it for this shelf. I'm gonna wipe that out and put everything back. All right, and we're gonna move to the next shelf. All right, let's move to the next shelf. This is my all important shelf right here. This you wanna stick with me for because this is where the bulk of what I cook with is on the shelf. So let me remove everything from the shelf and then we'll go through what it is. So like I said, this is the bulk of my cooking pantry items. It's a lot of stuff. So let's kind of go through, because I really want to give you an idea of what you should have in your pantry, especially if you're starting your plant-based journey, right? Because there's some foods that you just have to have on staple because you're going to use it all the time. For one, all-purpose flour. Now, I know some people don't care for all-purpose flour. You can use other flours 
that's fine. But make sure you have some kind of flour source because you're going to need it to, you know, batter certain things like, you know, when you want to fry your oyster mushrooms or something like that. So I got my flour. And guys, if you notice, everything is like in airtight containers. It just makes it easier for me and labeled. So I also label the containers. It's easier for me to see how much of the product that I have. So when this starts to go down, obviously I'll know, oh, I'm gonna need more flour. It just makes it easier to control the inventory that way. When they're in um, their original container, sometimes the container is not the best for as far as finding space. And also it's not the best as keeping the products fresh, if that makes sense. These containers, um, some of them I purchased at Ikea, others I gotten from Amazon. Um, you can always go on myvegankitchens.com um, to purchase or just click the link. Like go to my Instagram. I have an Amazon store. Sorry, I had to think there for a second. I have an Amazon store and all of these items are in my Amazon store. So it's easy for you to find them and purchase. Okay. So we got the flour, like we says, jasmine rice. I love jasmine rice better than any other rice. Um, I just find that it cooks easy, really quickly. It's not too sticky and it just works well. The flavor and the, the, the aroma just works well with a lot of my dishes. So jasmine rice, and this is not in any particular order. Coconut sugar. I usually don't have sugar in my house, but lately, um, I've had to make like ice cream and stuff like that. So I like to use coconut sugar. Cacao powder is amazing. If you wanna make, um, sometimes I use it in my, my date seed coffee. Other times I'll use it in um, to make pudding, hot chocolate. Cacao, pure cacao is just so much healthier than like the um, cocoa in the store because the cocoa in the store will have like sugar and all that in it. This is just pure cacao powder, just grounded cacao. It's a little bitter, so you might wanna add like sugar or something like that, but I keep a lot of it because I put it in smoothies also. So that's cacao, wild rice. I am gonna make a recipe for you guys with this wild rice one day. Wild rice is the most healthiest rice that there is because it's really not rice. Um, it's actually like a flower blossom. So you're not gonna get the same effect. Like, you know, for some people, um, the puffiness that you may get from rice or anything like that is just way more healthier. So I have some on, on hand because I'm gonna make a recipe for you guys at some point. I have old-fashioned oatmeal no instant oatmeal here we only do old-fashioned i rather cook my oatmeal because i know it's been minimally processed so we got some oatmeal we got some cornmeal for me to make like grits or something like that this is the coarse cornmeal put that on the side i got some buckwheat for porridge so i like to use buckwheat for porridge it's just a really good hearty grain for porridge I have some amaranth. And for those of you who don't know what amaranth is, this is actually really good also for porridge. It is the blossom from Kalalu. If you know Kalalu, like green Kalalu, like greens, it is amazing. It's loaded with iron. You, If you eat uh, porridge or hot cereal, you wanna have this in your pantry. So I keep that on hand. Mung beans. Mung beans are another excellent choice when it comes to legumes. They are full of nutrients. They cook really quickly, so you could cook them with your rice in the rice cooker. I always have mung beans on hand. All right, some basmati rice. Let's bring this up forward. I don't love basmati rice, I'll be honest with you. I don't like the texture of it, but I keep it on hand because some people in the family do like it, but I'm not a lover of it. But you know, just to have a diversity of rice, I do have that. I have some pinto beans. Dry pinto beans. We're gonna get this in a crock pot. I'm gonna make a recipe for you guys. I have raisins. I have flax seeds. You gotta have flax seeds, guys. Flax seeds are a good egg replacement. So if you mix it with water, it thickens up and you can use it in replacement of eggs. So you do, as a plant-based vegan, you wanna have that in your pantry, definitely. I also have some azuki beans. So azuki beans are probably the only alkaline bean that that there is. Um, so instead of using black beans for my 
black bean burgers, I use azuki beans because they're so much healthier. All right, let's go. I know you said, this is some grape nuts. I'm gonna make some ice cream for you guys. So I'm keeping it on hand. If you know, you know about grape nuts. I got some chickpeas, some dried chickpeas. I make um, a lot of different recipes with uh, dried chickpeas. Perfect, perfect if you don't wanna do the can. But I have both. <laughs> and all y'all favorite. Now this is the part of the pantry that it's mostly canned or bottled items, so I can't necessarily put them in any of these containers, but I got the jackfruit, guys. And look how many I got, because I just, I fell in love with jack. So I have a ton of jackfruit, because that is everybody's favorite. When my uh, family comes over, they all want the jerk jackfruit. So you know I got that stock. Uh, coconut milk. So when I say full fat coconut milk, this is what I'm talking about, y'all, and see? I have my cans ready. I have four cans ready of coconut milk. This is my favorite brand. So if you did want to buy it, this is my favorite brand. It's creamy. It's rich. The texture is perfect. I love it. That is my favorite. All right. What else we got in here? I did have this coconut milk. I really don't like it. So it's just kind of sitting there. Oh, one day, maybe I'll use it. Got some hearts of palm. That's good for if you want to replace... Um, and get like more of a fishy taste. And when I do my ackee and sawfish, this is the sawfish. Hearts of palms. I always got that on hand. I got some canned chickpeas for those quick dinners. Air fried chickpeas, excellent. You gotta check out that recipe. I do have it online. Black beans in the can, just in case. You never know if I have to make a, some tacos or something like that. I just wanna put some black beans on top. Northern white, great, um, northern, great, great northern beans. I, it's white beans, basically. I just made a recipe actually last night for dinner that was absolutely delicious. So I'm glad I had another can because we want to do it again. And what we got here, some sweet chili oil, a uh, sweet chili sauce, sorry. This is, this is like the Korean barbecue sauce. I love this. I put this in a lot of the dressings. Um, sometimes I'll do air fried tofu and I'll put this on it. So good, you got to get this. This is usually in your Asian market. Some tomato sauce. I don't know why I have this. I've never used it. It's probably been here for three years. Um, crushed tomatoes, because you never know, you might have to make some sauce. Ah, more sauce. Some um, roasted garlic, marinara. Again, you may need to make some pasta or something like that, so you, you gotta have some tomato sauce on hand. I have some maple syrup. Just in case you need to sweeten something, you gotta have some maple syrup, right? Some black olives. Tomato paste, just in case. I have some sunflower oil that I use a lot for dressing. So when I'm making my own dressing, I like to use sunflower oil. Sometimes instead of olive oil, the flavor is just amazing. It's so much better. And I've been soaking some raisins. So my Caribbean folks out there, y'all know, if you know, you know, you've got to soak some raisins in some rum. I probably do some um, rum and raisin ice cream for you guys. But that's what's on my favorite shelf. So I'm gonna put it all back and then we're gonna do the next shelf. Just stick with me guys, stick with me. I hope you're learning. I hope you guys are gonna have a lot of questions when I go through all this, cause I just, I, I wanna answer it for you guys. I want you to be prepared, all right? All right, let me put it all back in and we're gonna go to the next shelf. Um, there's order in my brain what's in here but it's not in any real order I already wiped out all the containers and put them back but let me just go through real quick what I have in here like I said it's just a mis mi mismosh am I saying that right I don't know anyway some oil olive oil I don't know what this is I got this I don't know I don't think it's going back in because I, I don't know what to do with it I'll figure it out I got some gajong sauce. Oh, 
This is in a lot of my recipes. Guys, you gotta get this one. This one I got from Trader Joe's, but in your Asian markets, you can find them there. I got some tofu, and I like this tofu because you can keep it um, in your pantry. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. It's a softer texture, so it's really nice like in soups. So I keep that on hand, I keep that thing on me. Some ginger, so when I make like, um, sushi or anything like that, I have ginger on it. And I've got some corn tortillas, just in case I make tacos, some rice, some different kinds of rice. So like I said, these containers, I kind of keep things that I don't use all the time, but it's here for when I need it. Uh, in this container, I have like more of my sugars, uh, some date syrup, which is really good. Tahini, I use that a lot to make salad dressing. You gotta get some tahini. You should have this in your pantry. It makes the best salad dressing. I don't know why I have corn syrup. It must have been something that, I don't know. Uh, apple cider vinegar, sometimes I do put that in my salad dressings. Uh, some peanut butter, blackstrap molasses. Ladies, if you are your iron is low, you wanna have this on you. Uh, this is great in smoothies. You can put it in uh, puddings, things like that. You could even put it like in your coffee or like your hot chocolate. So you wanna have, this is a super big bottle. You don't need a big bottle like this. Uh, soy sauce. So you see, I have them in these little pit bins. So it's just convenient. It's easy for me to get to and store them. I have some roasted seaweed for sushi. So I have that just in case and some rice paper. Also, just in case I wanna do um, some spring rolls. So I have that on hand just in case. Let me move that out of the way so you guys can see. All right, next bin, soy curls. I know a lot of you don't know about soy curls. This is amazing. You want to have a bag of this with you. Now, if you can't find this in a grocery store, you can get it on Amazon. Like I said, it's on my Amazon storefront. It, this, the, te the texture of basically of chicken or beef, it's just, it's, it's dehydrated as you can see, just add water to it, it cooks in like two seconds. This is in a lot of my recipes. Uh, what I have here, some breadcrumbs, some couscous, yeah I know about that couscous, and this is just another pack of couscous. So you know I just keep them, just keep them there just in case. And these are some of my other flowers. So I have chickpea flour, gluten flour for when I make seitan. Um, I have some, you know, just some other flowers, like tapioca flowers. Again, yeast, I don't go in this bin that often, so I just kind of keep these closed like that. Now, for things that I do go to often, here I go. So this is what I keep in some other containers, and the shapes are just different because it's easy to pack into the pantry like that. So here I got some soy chunks. Soy chunks are kind of like soy curls, just in circles. So this, these are great for like, if you, um, I, I use them for a lot of beef dishes, if that makes sense. So again, it's dehydrated, add water, I'll add like soy sauce or um, any kind of seasoning, soak them and then cook them, like fry them up. This is really good. Brown lentils, because I gotta have lentils. I use that a lot. That replaces a lot of uh, beef dishes. I have quinoa. You know I cook quinoa all the time, so that's what I have it in. I have regular quinoa, and I have red, red quinoa. The difference, the texture, the color. Soy curls, I keep them in here. So I have backup there, and I keep my soy curls in there. And these are soy chunks also. So it's kind of like these short soy chunks, but they're a little smaller and they're browner. So this is like more like beef and this is more like chicken. Make sense? All right, so that's that shelf. Let me put these back and then we go to the next shelf. All right, you sticking with me? Okay, stick with me, stick with me. All right, next shelf. Here we got here. This is my pasta shelf. It's a lot of pasta, which is interesting because I don't eat a lot of pasta. So why do I have so much? But pasta is one of those things you can keep for years and it doesn't spoil. So I think that's why I just have that much of it. So 
I started, I have some jumbo shells here. Now this has been the hardest thing for me to find in the last two years. Ever since the pandemic happened, it's like you can't find jumbo. So I stocked up. So guess what? I'm gonna be making a recipe for you guys. Yes, yes, a nice plant-based vegan stuffed shell recipe. You're gonna love it. Okay, next I got some jalapeno pieces. I haven't tried these yet from Trader Joe's, but it just looks so good, I had to get them. So this, these are kind of like my backstop shell with the pasta. Got some backup of chia seeds and backup of flax meat, flax seed meal. Again, remember I said you could put that in like um, smoothies and stuff like that. I got some sea moss. So yes, I take my sea moss every single day. So I have my sea moss in this nice airtight container. I got some cashews on that shelf, but I also have a whole lot of pasta. So I have some brown rice pasta. Um, you can be, you know, get diversified and get different types of pasta. You can get chickpea pasta now, um, brown rice pasta, all different types. I have brown rice pasta. I have some orzo because I love making orzo salad. This is really quick cooking pasta. You want to have this one on hand because this you can use, like I said, for salads. It just really fill in really pretty meals, actually. So I do love it. Some elbow, because you never know when I have to make some macaroni and cheese. Uh, some wide noodle pasta. I actually just put a recipe up with Swedish meatballs and wide noodle pasta. We got some bow ties, because I love that pasta also. And then I just got some spaghetti, um, some linguine, and some clear noodle pasta. And a lot of people ask me about these, so they're... Um, a sweet potato they're made from sweet potato I got them in the Asian market and they use a lot of clear noodles and I do like that they're gluten-free and they don't bother me like a lot of the other pastas so I do like that one um, I also have in here I have some vermicelli pasta which is nice and easy I put that in a lot of spring rolls and I have some dry noodle pasta here. I put that in a lot of stir fries. And some lasagna pasta, because I'm gonna make a lasagna for you guys also. And I use this kind, the one that just cooks right in the oven. I don't have to cook it separately and then add it. Um, I picked up some hearts of palm pasta, never tried it. Even though it's open, I never tried it, so I can't even tell you about that. So that's what I keep on that shelf. With, like I said, some backup, my banana bread mix, some uh, coarse salt, I use that a lot for cleaning, and my favorite, roasted seaweed. So you see I have like back stock on the roasted seaweed. These are great snacks for adults and kids, especially if you feel like um, you want something crunchy, like potato chips or something, that's perfect. So that's what's on that shelf. I'm gonna stack it back in, and then we're gonna do the last shelf. So I hope you're sticking with me. All right, here we go. Let's put it all back. All right, guys, we are on the last shelf, the bottom shelf. And as you can see, there's not much down here. I usually use this shelf for like backup. Um, I have the protein shake here. Sometimes I have like two and three of them. So I use it just for like backup. Got my vinegar, because I need it to wash all my fruits and vegetables with. Um, you can see I have some coconut water, some back stock of coconut water, because it hydrates like you would not believe. So a lot of times when I finish a really vigorous workout, coconut water is what I reach for. My Pellegrino water, because sometimes I just want a little bubbly in my water. And then, like I said, I have back stock of coconut milk and some almond milk, just in case I need it in a recipe. So yeah, that's it. Like, take a look. It's all organized. Yeah, sometimes it takes me probably about an hour or so to get this all done. But if you guys keep everything in like open containers so you can see it, it makes it a lot easier to get through. 
Definitely, whether you're or not you're on a plant-based diet, you do want to keep an organized pantry. It saves you money because you'll know what you have and what you need to buy so you're not doubling up on what you're purchasing. But from for me, I thought it would be a good idea to do this for you guys so you guys can see what I had in my pantry. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's that's everything. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, this is like my baby here. You know, being a content, content creator, um, I have to keep the material fresh and new and knowing where everything is. It's why I started like this system. So I hope my system helped you guys so you can have your pantry in a more organized fashion. But that's it guys, that is my pantry cleaning. It's all done. So thank you guys for spending the time with me. I'm out of breath from cleaning this darn pantry. But thank you for spending your time with me in my vegan kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe. I know this video was a little bit long, but I was hoping it could help some of you guys because I know if I was starting on my journey, I would have wished to have seen what someone that's already been doing it had in their pantry. So again, I hope it helped you guys. Stick with me. Keep following me for more recipes. And thanks again. I'll see you next time in my vegan kitchen. Bye, guys.